not really sure how to measure this one because it always looks the same. Um, but we will see, won't we? As time goes on. It may be one of those things that gets decluttered if I find I really can't handle it. Then for H, we have HD powder. This is from Artist Selection Cosmetics, which is one of the brands that Crown actually sells. I think it's actually Crown's brand. Um, this is also part of my uh, original makeup kit when I studied beauty. And that is where we are at right now. I don't mind this powder at all, although I do have the same problem with this powder that I have with all powders for some reason, that they actually darken right here when I put them on. No idea why that is, they just do. Uh, for eye, I have the Anika Pure Primer. I was using this 2017, um, so I actually don't know how much is left in here at all, but this is a super expensive product. I mean, I don't pay for it, I got it in a beauty box, but it's actually really expensive here in Australia, um, and it's a, it's like 81% certified organic ingredients or something. I don't know if it does anything, but um, yeah, I'm going to use that up this year. Then for J, we have the first of our nail polishes. There are a few nail polishes in here, um, only because I didn't really have products other than lots and lots of lip products, um, starting with the letters that I needed. So this is Jane from Zoya. This is actually one of my, it's one of the first Zoya polishes I ever got and it is not very good. It's not really meant to be. It's actually a light wash of colour more than anything else. Um, and that is actually underneath one of the other polishes in this project on these fingers at the moment. Kind of used it as a base for a glitter polish. So that is Jane and we are right here. This actually came as part of my uh, kit when I was doing the manicure portion, manicure pedicure portion of my beauty course. For K, we have the Cryolon Concealer Wheel. I actually got this from a friend. Um, so I didn't pay full price for this one. Um, it has a few different, like they, it's not like a normal corrector concealer wheel, but it has a tone to it. And it tells you on the back what it like best neutralizes. Um, I figured I should try to get some use out of it before it goes completely bad. I mean, it's kind of old, but it still, it still works. Um, and I don't mind, like, it's still really creamy. I don't mind a product that um, is sealed that's a cream product as long as it hasn't like changed smell or anything. And this still smells exactly the same still blends out and everything so I'll use it until it changes as soon as it changes it will be going though. Then for L we have lip prep this is from a brand called The Runway Room. Um, I got this at a uh, beauty convention for over like, two years ago I think now. Um, we are like right here at the moment. Uh, this is actually really hydrating and nourishing and I really need to use it before it goes bad. It's currently still fine um, and this is a cruelty free brand if anybody's interested. I've seen them, um, I did actually get contacted by them probably like 12 months ago. Um, yeah. For M we have more brows from Model Co. This is the brow uh, gel thing that I'm currently using. This has got a few little tiny fibery things in it. It's not the most, uh, doesn't hold the, the best, but it, it's okay. The color's pretty good as well. Um, and I've quite enjoyed using it, so I figured I'd use it in a project. For N, we have the Natio Bronzer Enhancer. This actually used to be in several different colors um, but it broke and so it all got repressed into one. I use it as a highlighter um, because it's 
light enough for that. Um, and it's certainly not something that I would use for a bronzer anyway, especially now that it's super duper shimmery. Um, it already has pan on it from a previous project. And we'll just be working on expanding that pan. For O, we have Obscure from Glamadol Eyes. This is an eyeshadow pigment. This is generally what I've been using as my transition colour when I'm like starting out. Um, it's kind of got a slight purple tone to it. I actually really love this. Um, this is only a sample. Um, I have no idea. I've been using it for quite a while and I've still got heaps left. So I'm sure that will last quite a while. That's a good product to for W, we have an eyeshadow. This is Periwinkle from Revlon. It's one of those weird little ones that you could like slide together and make a whole like palette of your own. I got this like super duper reduced. As you can see, it is blue. <laughs> um, and I don't think I've ever actually used it. But it's a colour that's up my alley, so I'm going to use it. Then for Q, yeah, everybody was going to have to struggle with this one, remember? Um, I have an nail polish. This is Quicksand from Sally Hansen. I actually quite like this nail polish. I've worn this quite a bit. It's useful when doing uh, certain nail arts because it has kind of like a sandy colour and texture to it. Um, and I think I'm, well, I, of course, shook it up right before I did this. Uh, and I think it's probably around about here. So that is quicksand. For R, we have a, another nail polish, which now I've already started shaking it. It's actually around about here in the bottle. I will actually mark these after. Um, that is actually what I'm wearing underneath the same nail polish that is over the top of these ones. You can get a completely different look. That is actually what is underneath. It is a really nice dark red nail polish. This is only a mini, so it shouldn't be quite so hard to actually finish off. Assuming I use it. <laughs> um, for S, we have Spear. I think that's how it's supposed to be pronounced. S-P-I-R. This is from Emmett Makeup. This is an eye pencil. It's actually a nude. eye pencil, which I use in the waterline. Uh, as you can see, there are quite a bit of pencil there. Put that in a beauty box or something. For tea, we have True Blend. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Foundation in L1 Ivory. It's actually what I'm wearing today. I like it, but I don't like it. If you know what I mean. It's fine. It's just... I don't know, um, foundation and I don't always get along very well. For some reason, it never likes to stick up here properly. No idea why that is. Might be today because I've got some oil from getting my hair done. Um, like, I literally had my hair done this morning. And I'm feeling this in the afternoon. So, uh, yeah. So, this is basically brand new. Today was the first day that I actually used it. Uh, take into account, I am pre-filming this. It's still 2017 as I'm filming this. So, feel this product I'm getting a head start on. But this video will not go up until January sometime. For you, we have Urban Coral, which is this super duper bright Maybelline color shoe nail polish. It's basically bright orange. Uh, it's making my camera freak out. Um, it's almost red. Not quite. For V, we have the NYX Vivid Violet uh, Eyeliner from the Vivid Brights collection. This is a beautiful purple eyeliner. Kind of one of the newer things in my collection. For W, we have the Well Dressed Blush from MAC. I'm actually wearing this today. This is another one that I got from a friend. So it's got a bit of a dip in it already. I actually didn't find that I got a huge amount of payoff. I had to like do 
like really kind of build it up, which I was actually surprised about. Because I know a lot of people absolutely love this blush. It's, it's all over here. It's like really hard to see. And you think on someone as pale as me, it would be really easy to see, but apparently not. For X, I have XOXO nail polish from Ultra 3 Australian brand. Uh, this is actually what I have over the top of both of these polishes. Yes, this one right here. For why I have Yodel Me on my cell, which is another nail polish. This one is an OPI nail polish. I originally was going to put in a lip liner from NYX, which was called Y2K, which is a really dark purple lip liner. Um, I went to put it on today, and it was really, really dry and kept on breaking and really hard to put on. So I got decluttered instead. So I had to find myself a new Y. So we have Yodel Me on my cell, which is a kind of tealy colored nail polish. Um, and it's pretty full. <laughs> And lastly, for Z, we have from NYX in the Soft Matte Lip Cream line, we have Zurich. I literally went and bought this specifically so I had a Z because I actually did not have a Z. I could have picked another Zoya polish, but I wasn't going to. Um, so this is Zurich. This is basically brand new. I've actually worn it a couple of times. I actually quite like it. It's quite nice. So this is Zurich from NYX. So that is it for my intro to the A to Z project pan in collaboration with the lovely ladies from Fantastic Ladies. I will leave them all linked down below as I said. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there, leave me a thumbs up if you like project pan type videos, and leave me a comment down below. I'll try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!